Good evening, my friends. Happy weekend to all of you. So, friends, I've got very big news. There are billions of dollars left over in crisis relief funds that have not yet been spent. State officials have until a new deadline to allocate this money towards a new round of stimulus payments. This means more for stimulus checks for Americans. Dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video to find out if you are eligible to receive a fourth stimulus check. To say thank you for watching, I'll be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. Please enter the giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos and then commenting below the keyword of each video that you watch. Friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaways. As the current crisis continues to impact millions of Americans, several states have enacted their own types of stimulus programs to better assist their residents. Currently, there are more than half of Colorado taxpayers receiving new stimulus checks in the mail that have cashed in $750. However, friends, there are taxpayers that will have to wait to cash those fourth stimulus payments. Colorado Governor Jared Polis signed a bill that changes this year's Tabor refund. The changes have created an even amount for every taxpayer instead of a proportional refund and sends that refund out earlier than the spring of 2023 when residents of Colorado would have seen their refunds added into their state tax returns. Because the Colorado cashback bill required the Department of Revenue to send the checks out early, the total Tabor calculation for taxpayer refunds had not been finalized. State officials have said that the bill essentially puts out 85 to 87 percent of the state's total Tabor refund, since it was not clear what the final revenue was going to be for June by the deadline for accelerated refunds. That means taxpayers can expect the rest of the total refund when they file their state tax returns in 2023. While the $750 checks per individual filer were evened out, the rest of the refunds will be proportional. Over in the state of California, the state's unemployment rate recently fell to 3.9% in July. That is the lowest point since 1976, as employers in the nation's most populous state continued to defy expectations by adding nearly 85,000 new jobs. Record high inflation coupled with a cool down in the housing market have prompted warnings of an economic slowdown as consumers react to high prices for goods from groceries to gasoline. As my Arizona colleagues, Senator Sinema and Senator Kelly will attest to, Ms. Desai is deeply respected by all corners of Arizona's legal community and will make an excellent judge when we confirm her later today. Now, Mr. President, Senate Democrats are getting things done. This has been one of the most productive stretches the Senate's seen in recent times. In the past few months, we've seen an amazing string of achievements pass through this chamber in extremely fast succession. The first major gun safety bill in 30 years, the largest investment in American manufacturing and science in a generation, the largest expansion of veterans' benefits in decades. And just last night, we strengthened NATO by approving the accession of Sweden and Finland, sending Russia a signal that they cannot intimidate America or Europe. Gun safety, CHIPS, PAC, NATO, getting any one of these accomplishments done is a significant feat for the Senate. The fact is we've done them all since Memorial Day, and that's quite remarkable. And this doesn't even include a once in a generation. Friends, the key word for this video is Greek Islands. If you would like to enter the next Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Greek Islands and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. Friends, the more videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the greater your chance of winning these giveaways. Nationwide, unemployment rates dropped in 14 states, rose in three states, and stayed the same in 33 states. California now has a slightly lower unemployment rate than Texas, 
but is higher than Florida and Alabama. California's budget includes $9.5 billion in refunds. Legislators announced a round of inflation relief payments that would go out to more than 20 million state residents later this year. Payments will range from $200 to $1,050. And the size of your check depends on your income, filing status, and number of dependents. Individuals earning more than $250,000 and joint filers or head of households making more than half a million do not qualify for a tax refund. While the relief is coming soon, it may not be soon enough for some. Payments are set to go out starting in October. After a spring of high gasoline prices and a summer that saw inflation top 9%, Connecticut Democrats are reminding voters this week of the dollars that the state is putting back into family budgets. But even as Governor Ned Lamont was reminding shoppers to take advantage of another sales tax-free week and watch your mailboxes for child tax rebate checks. Republicans noted the state's track record at getting relief out the door is not great. One program to help essential workers who work during the crisis has dispersed less than 2% of its funds after seven and a half months. A second relief program for essential workers is widely popular but appears likely to begin shrinking grants because of a shortage of funds. Besides the child tax rebate, there was a temporary boost in aid for working poor families and an expansion of the state income tax credit that offsets local property tax bills. Republicans have argued that easy access is a big issue of all relief programs this year. The Essential Workers Assistance Program was launched in January with $34 million to help frontline workers who lost wages or incurred medical costs because of the crisis. But the program stalled because of a complicated application process that requires workers to assemble medical and employment data from two years ago. According to a new report, as of this week, the program has distributed less than 2% of its funding only about $560,000. So friends, what are your thoughts on this? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, my awesome and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for today. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here. And I truly hope you found this information helpful. Thank you friends and have a wonderful and blessed weekend.